Are you guys cold like I am in an older home that doesn't have central heat or just want a small space heater for the office workspace? And the opposite of that is, do you want a cool blow fan on you during the hot summer days if you don't have a fan above your office or central AC? This has that mode as well. Then this video is for you. What's going on guys? My name is Chris and I'm back with you with another unboxing and product review video. This one's gonna be for the Techville small space heater. It has three different modes. It has high heat, low heat, and a cool blow fan mode as well. It has tip over protection for safety, meaning that if it accidentally is bumped over, it will auto shut off. And so I'm actually pumped about this because this house I'm in right now was built in 59, 1960, does not have central AC, does not have central heat at all. The room we're in right now stays a little bit warmer during the winter time. Right now we're just going into springtime, but every night I'm watching Netflix, I'm under a blanket, and this is gonna be nice to be able to go ahead and just put next to me while I'm watching TV or working at the desk right behind me. Let's get this out of the box and get going with it. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be a simple device, but let's go ahead and get it out. You do have your user manual right there. And pulling it out, we have our heater with cool blow fan as well. Let's go ahead and get you a cord length here before we do set it up and use it tonight. So cord length from about this right here, guesstimation to the end of this is about six feet or so, guesstimation. And while we're on the back side, let's go ahead and look at the fan here. And the top with your sticker there, your bottom. Now this is gonna be your safety feature right here. So when this is knocked over, and that is out pressed like that, it will automatically turn off. And you are looking at 120 volt, 60 hertz, 1500 watt. And coming up to the front, nice little grill on there like that. Obviously low to high, all the way around. And off, cool fan, low heat, and high heat up here in the completely right position, going back to zero there. Again, the second one is gonna be the cool fan low heat and high heat there. And for power consumption before we do use it tonight, let me show you this. We're looking at, again, we already mentioned 120 volts, AC, 60 hertz. Power consumption on low heat is 900 watts. On high is gonna be 1500 watts. And just like all my videos, guys, in the description box below is gonna be this exact same heater. Go ahead and read more about it. Pick one up yourself. You guys in the UK, I will have you linked below as well, if not one very similar to it. Those links are again in the description box below. Well, I'm really enjoying the heater. I do have it on the 1500 watt and that feels very nice. I might even kick that down to the low setting here. Just watching my projector, a little disc golf here. I do have the blanket on as well, but overall my first impressions are spot on fantastic. Really enjoying it. And the fan noise is very minimal. I have my speaker on my projector kicking out the back right here. And if the camera's picking up the fan, I'll be quiet for just a second. So this fan is just a little bit louder than my projector fan, but I'm watching disc golf. Of course, the speaker is right here. No issues. Well guys, even though today is not really a cold day, I'm really enjoying the cool setting. What's nice about this little space heater slash cooling fan is it has this option as well for the cooling. Now again, the other night when it was super cold watching disc golf, really enjoyed the heat, crank it up to the high setting or go for the low setting. But again, today is a little bit more of a warmer day here in California. So again, I'm enjoying this setting here, the cool setting. It's a one fan speed. This obviously is your heat up here for when you are on heat but when you're on the coolest setting, it doesn't do anything there. But same thing applies for the trigger button on the bottom. If this thing gets knocked over, it turns off when the foot pedestal is triggered and then goes right back down. So let's just go ahead and show you. Here's low heat again. And then you go ahead and crank it on up there, be able to produce. I'm not gonna keep this on for very long, but again, very nice and quiet for when you are watching TV. I'm in the office here doing some work, so it's nice to be able to plug that in right on the desk, either cool yourself or heat yourself. Guys, very nice. I really enjoy it and I think you will as well. Look in again in the description box below the video for this exact same space heater slash cooler. That is gonna be in the description box below. Pick yourself up one or two, a couple as gifts. Please, just like all my videos, don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Hit that thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind as well so other people can find it and it helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys. Also subscribe on your way out. Those links, once again, are in the description box below. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.